In this video, we're going to take a look at some operations we can do with decimals, specifically adding and subtracting. To add and subtract with decimals is very similar to how we add and subtract whole numbers. We line up the place value, and work right to left. However, decimals might have a different number of digits after the decimal point. And so, in or it's very important that we keep the numbers in order, which means we can't flip the order of the subtraction, and we may have to add zeros to line up all the decimals, all the place values. And then to decide where to place the decimal, we simply place it straight down into the problem. So, for example, if we have the problem 5 and 76 hundredths plus 7 and 9,412 ten thousandths, when we line this up as an addition problem, it's going to be very important we line up the place values or the decimal digits, keeping them in order. 5.76 and 7.9412. You notice the second number is longer than the first number. There's nothing to add the 12 to. What we're going to need to do for those missing digits is add zeros at the end of the decimal to make sure we don't get in trouble. Technically, with addition, it's not needed, but it's a good habit to be in so that when we get to subtraction, we don't get into trouble. Adding then, we have 2 plus 0 is 2, 0 plus 1 is 1, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 7 plus 9 is 17, carry the 1, 5 plus 1 plus 7 is 13. Then we need to decide where to place the decimal. The decimal will come straight down into the problem, straight down in place value, 13.7012 or 13 and 7,012 ten thousandths. Let's try a subtraction problem. Here we're subtracting, keeping it in order, 3 and 21 hundredths or 3.21. Minus, lining up the decimal point, 2 and 5,731 ten thousandths. Again, these last few digits don't have anything to subtract from. A common error I see people do is they just subtract 1 from nothing is 1 and 3 from nothing is 3. That won't work because we need to remember that nothing really means the number 0. And when we're subtracting, 0 minus 1 means we have to borrow. So we go in search of something to borrow. Borrow from the 1 drops it down to a 0. Now we have 10, but we borrow from that, making it 9. And we're actually doing 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. We can't do 0 minus 7, so we borrow again. 2 drops down to 1, and we now have 10 minus 7, which is 3. Can't do 1 minus 5, so we borrow from the 3. Now we have 11 minus 5, which is 6. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then finally, to decide where the decimal goes, we bring it straight down into the answer, and we get 6,369 ten thousandths for our final difference. Adding and subtracting with decimals, very simple, just like whole numbers. Line up the decimal point, line up the place values, and you may have to add zeros so that every digit has something to be added or subtracted from.